Hello everyone, since a lot of quests have changed, there are new quests, I thought it was a perfect time to make a quest reward tier list for you guys, so you can know what is good and what not, and what to pick in your games. So without further ado, let's get into the actual tier list, starting off with Theotar Parasol. Back in the days, this would have been an S tier quest. Now though, B tier. Things have changed. Now we have new quests that are also easy to complete, but give you even better rewards. Stolen gold. It used to be S tier. Well, it's still S tier. <laughs> and then Sinstone. Well, that's a no-brainer. S tier. Wisdom Ball. A tier. It's especially good if beasts are in the lobby, because then it's really easy to force a perfect leaper comp with it. Heal Tiger Sapphire, D tier. This quest is useless unless you get a Felbat. Devils in the details, D tier. You get it online too late and it just doesn't do enough. Red End, I'm gonna put this in A tier. It's usually really easy to complete and it gives you a lot of tempo so you can level Alter Ego. I'll put it on B tier. It's basically like a midway between Red End and Teal Tiger. Middle of the pack kind of quest. Mirror Shield. Back in the days this was S tier, nowadays C tier. This quest is not offered in Murloc lobbies, so you can't uh, build the Poison Divine Shield Murlocs with it anymore. And Gem Splitter got removed. Sometimes you are lucky and you can get a good minion with Divine Shield. Seems really mediocre. This quest is really slow. It's a random quest, it depends on your combat energy. And then Menagerie Mayhem. This one is a C tier. The quest itself is decent, but really hard to complete most of the times. Sneaker Snack, I'm gonna put this in A tier. It's really good in combo with uh, Murlocs. You can get poisons pretty easily. It's also really good with demons. Evil Twin, now it works with Khadgar. I'm gonna put it in A tier. Pretty insane if you can pull it off. Solid quest, A tier for sure. Teamfall Medallion, I'm gonna put this one in C tier. This quest is useless most of the time, but it's an easy quest to complete. On some heroes, it can actually be pretty good. For example, on Lurgul, Patches the Pirate, Milaus, Gallywix, all these kind of heroes that wants to cycle stuff can get pretty decent value out of this quest. But it's not a game winning quest. This is just gonna be a little bit of a bonus. Then you need to find a way to actually win the game yourself. Then Ghastly Mass. Usually you don't pick this quest, especially if Murlocs are in, but when Murlocs are banned, this quest can be really, really good if you can complete it fast. Ritual Dagger. Boy oh boy. This quest used to be strong in the right scenario. For some reason they nerfed it and now it's unplayable. Ilfer Lamp. I'm gonna put this one in C tier. One of the hardest quests in the game to complete and the reward is not even that good. Sure, you can make triples out of pairs, but like all these quests in S tier, they are easier to complete than Pilferlamp and they give you a better reward. Tough, C tier as well. Past turn 11, having extra stats doesn't really matter. Since this quest reward is paired with a really difficult quest, if you can't complete it by turn 8 or 9, it's not even worth picking. And then Smoking Gun, this one is S tier, it got nerfed, but it's still arguably one of the best quests in the game. Super strong on its own, and then it has extra synergy with magnetic stuff and max and beast, and gives you pseudo direction. Tiny Henchman, D tier, by the time you complete this quest, people already have better quests, so what's the point? Friends along the way, probably a B tier. There are some combinations that are really good, like for example, if you get this quest for uh, Murlocs or Elementals, it can be really strong because these are two tribes that really wants you to play just more minions of the same tribe over and over again. For any other tribe, you should see it as a plus two gold and sometimes you get a useful minion, but most of the times you don't. Another hidden body, I've put this in C tier. Usually this quest is mediocre because it's paired with a difficult quest to complete. The times when it's good, unfortunately there are animation issues. If the animation wouldn't be an issue, this would be an easy B or even A tier. But because of the animation, it's a C tier. Yogtastic Tasties. I would love to put this in B tier. I would love to, even A tier. But unfortunately I think it's a C. Same issue as the stuff. If you will complete your Yog Tastic on turn 9 or 10, like what's the point? I wish it was a little bit easier to complete. And then cookbook. 
probably S tier, really strong quest, it gives you a win condition on its own, but sometimes people are gonna be really strong and they're gonna kill you before you can get your stuff together. A new quest, Kidnap Suck. Remember when I said that there are some new easy quests that are better than Parasol? This one is definitely one of those and goes straight into A tier. This reward comes with usually a really easy quest to complete. You can use it on the shop, so it's like getting plus 3 gold every time you do that. You get a minion for free. On top of that, you can also use it uh, on some battle cries that are already on your board, like for example Uther, Primal Fiends, Tavern Tempest, Battle Master, to just keep using them over and over and keep getting stats. Really flexible, strong quest. Not like super game winning, but since you complete it very fast, it's just gonna help your game plan overall. And then Ethereal Evidence, I'm gonna put it in A tier. Recently, with a hotfix, they made this quest easier to complete. I got it once, completed it on turn 6, and that was absolutely insane. If you can complete this quest before turn 8, it's amazing. And I think that's gonna be the case since they buffed it. Volatile Venom. What it does is it gives your uh, minions plus 8 plus 8, but after they attack, they die. All of your minions, your minions on your board, your tokens, the magnetic stuff that you play, they all get plus 8 plus 8. Massive quest. It works exactly like smoking gun, except your minions die. So I'm gonna put this one in S tier. With just beast, this is amazing. Like you find a rat pack, you are invincible. Insane. And then blood goblet. Another new one, I think I'll put this one in C tier. I haven't been impressed with this quest. I feel like in the quest environment, it just doesn't do enough. Awkward quest. And then Essence of the Zerus. Is this an S tier? A tier. This quest, it's bananas. Paired with a super easy quest to complete, like Parasol and Kidnap. And the reward is sick. You get a shifter every turn. I got this quest, I complete it on turn 4. The moment I got it, it was completed. That doesn't make any sense. If you just complete it on turn 4 or 5 every time, it just doesn't matter what you get. It's, it's crazy. And sometimes you get a 6 drop and then you win the game on the spot. Insane quest. I don't think it's quite as powerful as this one's. So I'm gonna put it in A tier. Hidden Treasure Vault. Another new one. This one goes straight to S tier. It's just as easy as this one's. By the end of the game, it's gonna give you plus 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 gold extra every turn. So basically, your turn are twice as efficient as your opponent. One of the best quests in the game. It doesn't really give you a win con like these other ones. It just gives you a lot of gold and then you have to work your way up. Now, the golden armor, wish, straight to S tier. Look at this. Three new quests and they're all S tier. Spicing things up. This quest is basically the Reno Hero Power, but it's until next turn, so it's super flexible. This quest can basically do what Stolen Gold does, but it can also buff scaling units and end of turn effects better than Stolen Gold, so I wouldn't be surprised if this gets nerfed. Has something surprised you? Maybe something you thought was weaker or stronger? Let me know down in the comment below. Don't forget to leave a sub, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.